ChatGPT can help you to analyze your Excel or CSV based data very efficiently. In this video, let me show you the way you can use ChatGPT to analyze your Excel data. If you follow my screen here, I'm in ChatGPT console. If you have not used ChatGPT earlier, I have multiple videos on my channel. You can check those and you can start using it. If you are already using it, then you will be able to see this type of interface. The methods I'm going to show you today, this will work both in free tier and also with the paid plans. Only difference with the free and paid will be while using free plan, you will have some of the capacity related requirements. So it may happen that after using four or five prompts, you may get a message that you may need to try after certain hours. So that will be the only difference. Everything else will be same. So let me show you very quickly. So what I've done, I downloaded our data set from Kaggle.com. I'll add the link in the description below. This data set contains Netflix title data. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I click on this attach file option and then there will be three different options. What I'll do, I'll click on upload from my computer and then I'll get this particular option and there I'll select this particular file which is Netflix titles. And if I click on open, then this file will get attached. And here, if I just paste this particular prompt, I have this data set. Please help me to analyze. So we are starting with the basic option and then step by step, I'll show you more options. So let me hit enter and then see what happens. So currently you can see now ChatGPT started analyzing this data and it is reading and now it is showing that this data set contains information about Netflix titles with following columns. And it also listed down everything and then it is also suggesting some of the analysis. So what type of analysis you can do using this file, that suggestion is also coming from ChatGPT. So you can use any of these suggested actions to take this thing further. But let me show you a few of the other angles of uh, this particular data analysis so that you will get more idea. I have already copied another prompt and if I paste it here, identify columns with missing data. This is one major step whenever you are doing any kind of data analysis, your data set needs to be correct. Otherwise, you may not get the desired result. So before starting our analysis, we should check that if the correct data is there, is it complete or not, all those things. So this is the way we can check using ChatGPT also. You can see it mentioned that the following columns in the data set contains missing data. Director data is not there for 2,634 different rows. So this is a quite a big number, right? And then cast is also missing in 825 rows. So these are the areas you may need to check whenever you will analyze any kind of data that correctness or the completeness of the data you will be able to check. Let me show you another prompt using which you will get a very good idea whenever you are analyzing any data set. Above options to, told you that what other data are missing. But now if you want to understand what will be the impact analyze how much data is missing and its potential impact. So whenever you are analyzing the, your data, what will be the impact of this missing data? So that also ChatGPT can tell you. It is showing that table again and it is also showing there will be some impact. Let me ask another question that what will be the actual impact because that was not very clear from the above message, right? Now you can see it's mentioned director nearly 30% data is missing country nearly 9.4% is missing all those options are mentioned and it's also mentioned impact of each of the category and how that it can be mitigated all those things it is also giving so it's a matter of in case you are not getting the right result like here we didn't never got the right desired result right whatever we uh, requested for it gave a very generic type of answer then again i reprompted what will be the actual impact and then it detailed everything so this is the way you will be able to prompt reprompt to get the right uh, desired result now let me show you the next option how can we take this thing further now before we go to the next prompt and analyze this data further one announcement i'm in process to record one generative ai course their chat gpt google semini microsoft copilot cloud all will be covered extensively i have added one link in the description below please fill that particular form to get a discount coupon once the course will be launched now coming back to our next prompt till this time we worked on the preparation of the data and the correctness of the data completeness everything now if we start analyzing the data let's start with some basic stuff if we try this particular prompt find the most frequent directors countries and ratings and using that it will pull out all those details and it will show us the output now you can see it pulled out the details and it is showing us the table based on our requirement now these are only table and only the numbers 
But if I want to plot some charts or diagrams using this data set, what can I do? So if I use this prompt, plot the number of titles released per year and then it should be able to pull out the data and then it will generate the graphs and charts related to that data set. Let's see how it is working. Now you can see it plotted that particular graph. Now one good option here, if I just zoom in a bit, you can see there is one option that is interactive chart. If you click on it, then this chart will be interactive. If you mouse over, you will be able to see the values for each of those years based on the data we ingested here. So everything is available here. You can also click on this particular option to download the chart. But once it will get downloaded, it will be downloaded as a fixed format chart, like the static chart we saw earlier, right? So this is the way it will get downloaded. But if you want to play with your data set here, you will be able to use this interactive chart. If you come here, you'll be also able to define a color of this particular data set. If you have multiple data set, those options also will be available. So if I just change it to red, now my data set color will be changed to red. And you can also expand this chart if you want to see in a more detailed way. So that also is possible here. And you'll be also able to see in the right pane about the details, about the code using which it generated this content. So let me do one thing. Let me come back to the earlier view. So this is the way you'll be able to plot any of the charts. This is a very simple one it plotted. So I'm just giving you some of the hints. And now down the line, you will be able to get some idea. And based on that, you'll be able to take this thing further. Now we tried some of the prompts. Let me try this prompt also and I'll show you how to get this type of prompts down the line also that is from where I got these ideas. Can you please analyze if Netflix is adding more movies or TV shows over time? So now one thing is we normally get in using Excel that maybe country wise count, director wise count or title wise count. All those are normally possible using Excel. But using chat GPT, what can I get additionally on top of it, right? So this type of prompts will give you very right result, which may be a bit difficult in Excel to achieve and you will be able to achieve, but you may need to spend much more time than chat GPT. Now you can see it is plotting that particular graph based on the numbers we gave for the TVs and movie shows. Now let me show you a couple of more options that how we can take it to the next level. And this is one prompt which may help you to impress your boss if you're new to the data analysis field. If I just paste this particular prompt, provide data driven suggestions for expanding content in specific areas. Maybe someone working in Netflix, maybe also using this type of analysis. You can see it is sharing the all those options, focus on emerging genre right expand regional content capitalize on popular ratings all those things it's giving all those suggestions now let me tell you that based on your data set how can you generate multiple different type of ideas or this type of prompts from where i got it what i have done i use this particular prompt to get it generated by chat gpt itself let me show you that prompt so before start of this video whenever i was planning for this video i asked chat gpt this particular prompt i'm new to data analysis field and looking for some suggestions to analyze this data set and impress my boss and then uh, it gave me all those suggestions now you can see it is giving those suggestions basic overview and data cleaning that's the first step next is trend analysis and it is also giving required ideas then popularity by country genre insight audience preferences everything and then finally it is also sharing the present your findings what are the findings and how to get advanced insight so all those ideas it's giving you can do one thing based on your data set you can just directly upload that file first and then use this prompt to get required analysis related ideas and from there you can take it further so hopefully this video will be helpful and if you have any comments any questions please do feel free to ask in the comments below i'll try to respond to those comments as soon as i can if you want to know how can you use one free ai tool to visualize your data or generate graphs and diagrams, then that too also absolutely for free from your existing data, then you can check this video to know everything about it.